Energy is the lifeblood of economy. Everything moves and everything is transmitted thanks to energy. We remember the importance of energy when we have a scarcity of it. An energy crisis is an opportunity to do a step change. There is no time to lose. The energy transition does need to be accelerated. And so we should really use this opportunity to go ahead and decarbonize the energy system and also make energy system more resilient, secure and affordable for everyone. The energy system that we have built over decades is unfortunately very heavy in emission. So we have now to transform it while we run it. So it's like uh, fixing a plane while you are on it and you're flying. So that's one part of it. It's a very big system that needs to be transformed. And of course, we also live in a world that is no more in a world of abundance as it was in the past, but it's a world of a bit more of scarcity. We need a lot of investment. We need a lot of technology innovation, and we need to apply the innovation that are here. But above all, we need to understand that energy is not only about supply. Many people talk about fossil fuel versus renewable. That is an important part of the debate. But we have to talk also a lot about, or to work a lot on the demand side. Because if we lower the demand, we'll need less energy supply. How we address efficiency and the demand side is really critical to this energy transition. What we are trying to achieve is really look at bringing together experts in the field of the energy transition and bring different perspective, multi-stakeholder perspective to how we address the energy transition from the multiple opportunity that are included in it. We have to team up, we have to do it together. Let's not try to prevail on one side or the other side, let's not be ideological, let's try to find solutions that really give humanity an energy system that is helpful for the development and also is sustainable with the environment. I think the good news at the moment is we understand what is the problem and we have great minds and a lot of capital that is available to solve this problem, but we shouldn't be complacent. Everyone needs to have safe and reliable energy access.